Hello and welcome back to another edition of the Riverhawk Spotlight. I'm your host, Josh Klein, and I have the pleasure of being joined by Alyssa Bolger from the Susquehanna women's soccer team. Thanks for joining me, Alyssa. Of course. So congratulations on a great start to the season with a 4-0-1 start. What does the team need to do to maintain the success that you guys are having? Um, I think we just you know, need to stick to the game plan, what we've been doing. Um, we have a lot of players on our team, so our practices have always been really competitive since day one. So I think we need to keep up that energy and that competitiveness at practice and just take it onto the field and we should be fine. And <coughs> what are some of the catalysts for your guys' team in being successful on the offensive side at least? Uh, I think we're really strong with counterattacks mm -hmm. because uh, the way we play, you know, we, we keep our defensive shape in the back and then when we have the opportunity we spring numbers forward and we are able to capitalize on it. And so the defense has really been outstanding so far and what stands out to you as the strength of the defense for you guys? Uh, yeah so our star player Marissa you know she tore her ACL this summer so that was a real bummer I wasn't sure what to expect coming in but um, we had two sophomores step up at center back and uh, they have been doing amazing and our whole team defense, you know, as a unit has been outstanding so far. Um, we really work together well, and we communicate well and um, we just keep our shape. No matter what team we play, we stick to the game plan and it, it works out. And when you talk about having two sophomores really stepping up to the plate, mm -hmm. it, it brings an approach that most teams in the conference really haven't had to experience, but you guys are still winning so many games and playing so well. So what, what do you think that sp says for uh, the program for, at Susquehanna, being able to have the next, per the next girl step up mm -hmm. and be so competitive and win so many games? Yeah, I mean, um, they, they're out of, can you repeat that question? Okay. okay. <laughs> so what does it say for the program when you have two younger players step up to the plate mm -hmm. to replace one of your star uh, defense players? What, what does that say for the program that you guys have here mm -hmm. at Susquehanna? Again, it's really competitive. Um, those two players have been working so hard since the first day of preseason. They really deserve their spot. And uh, it just shows that if you put your time in and you work hard, you're going to get time on the field. And they've proved it, and they're doing great so far. So. And only a few more non-conference games before the landmark schedule begins. What's going to be one of the biggest challenges that Susquehanna will face with the conference games? I think um, we really just need to stay out of our own heads. I think that's always our biggest problem, especially when we play teams that like we know we should beat. We uh, you know sometimes play down to them, or so I think uh, what we need to focus on this season is really um, being consistent, you know, and staying out of our own heads and being confident and knowing that we are able to play with or, and against any, any of the teams in our conference. Is there a mantra or a belief that, so, that your team has really bought into, at least coming into the season, or uh, I guess a motto of your, your girls' team? Well, we had a great season last year, yeah. so um, I think that past, our past season, has really given us confidence. And now that we know we can play with any team, you know, tying Misericordia for the first mm -hmm. time, probably in program history, has really given us confidence and has just, showed us that we, if we play with hard, we can play with anyone. So. And we wish you and your team the best of luck with the rest of your season going forwards. And it's going to be interesting and fun to watch. And we will surely keep you and everybody posted on the success that they will continuously have. Thank you for joining me, Alyssa, on the Riverhawk Spotlight. I'm Josh Klein, and we hope to catch you next time.